yo yo y'all already know what it is man back at it with another one we in the gym as always putting in the work just had a crazy upper body workout so i'm feeling a little bit drained a little tired but we still gonna knock it out um regardless remember to follow the instagram is at a1sf underscore ceo that's at a1sf underscore ceo and let's get straight to it today we're going to be talking about disrespect um and and disrespect comes in a lot of forms in a lot of ways a person may feel disrespected in a lot of uh, different issues so we go dive deep into the root of disrespect um what it what it means the definition of it and um you know if you if you can be able to tell if you're being disrespected or if you're the disrespectful person so before we can get to disrespect, we gotta get to the root cause or the root word, uh, which is respect, obviously. So let's just simply define what respect is. Respect essentially is a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, and achievements. All right, so again, a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicit by their abilities, qualities, and achievements, and or achievements. Just to admire somebody, just to look up to somebody, um, to see a person that's done certain things that you might want to get to, um, and listen to what they got to say, or, you know, being more courteous and, and looking up to that person, that's essentially what respect is, and I think when I talk about respect I look more so at you know coaches that's been in my life my my parents my you know uh, maybe some celebrities or, or my athletes pro athletes that I've looked up to growing up those are people that I've admired because of the capabilities that they've been able to achieve um, within this life has commanded a level of respect from you know me just from the outside looking in right I think a lot of times when we speak on respect uh, for the day-to-day, -day, it's more so about, you know, how a person presents themselves to you, right? So if a person comes up to you and they're rude, um, you know, they're unkind or whatever, then that's, you know, a form of disrespect. That's when a person is lacking of admiration for you simply because they may look at you from a smaller perspective, right? That's all it is, essentially. Day-to-day, um, -day, that's all we got to go by. And I think in the world of today that we're living in, we see a lot of that because with social media, with, you know, um, image being such a big thing and people working hard on putting out a positive self-image of themselves, in turn, what you get from that may be a lack of kindness to others for the simple fact that their, their head is so far up their ass, <laughs> it's hard for them to see. You know what I mean? When they, you know, are looking down at somebody because the world revolves around them. And that's what leads to disrespect on both, of course, right? So now we get to the definition of what disrespect is. The definition states the lack of respect or courtesy. So just like I said, the lack of respect or courtesy, the lack of admiration or at least being kind or being courteous to another person for the simple fact of how you may view that person. That's disrespect in the whole. And so now that we know this, right, take a step back and look at your life and, and see in certain instances where you may have felt uh, disrespected or you may have been the disrespectful person, right? And um, was it worth it if it, you know, if you were the disrespectful person or if somebody was disrespecting you, um, you know, turning up and becoming something outside of yourself, is it worth it, right? Because if understanding that, you know, we all equal, we all human beings, we all, you know, eat, you know, sleep, get dressed just like everything else. If you cut me or cut somebody else, they're going to bleed the same way I'm going to bleed. Um, then at that point, it shouldn't be a reason for you to, you know, turn up on a person because you understand that their head might be far up their ass. So let me just escape that situation. So I'll end up in turn doing something that will cause me to be outside of myself. 
and that's the main just behind this video because I want you know people to have a, a better understanding on what to what to do and how to handle being disrespected because there's a lot of forms of it in certain instances you might have to turn up you might have to show a person who you are because you know they're gonna keep on disrespecting you if you don't and there's only one or two ways you can handle that man either you could you could stand on business or you could walk away from the situation which in turn is still standing on business too it's just another form of standing on business some people may look at that as being weak others might look at it as being like the strongest form right just walking away from a situation which in my opinion i think most disrespect that's what constitutes it just walking away it's not worth you know essentially your life because that's what can happen man you could crash out and you could put yourself in situations that definitely can turn out to be worse than you ever intended so that's how you handle the disrespect man walk away that's it essentially walk away no matter what's going on what's happening um you know if you got the opportunity to walk away walk the fuck away you don't like the way somebody says something to you you don't like the way the job treating you walk away get the fuck out of the job you don't like the way you know a person is treating you in a relationship, walk walk away, get out of the relationship. You don't like the way, you know, a coach, if you're an athlete that's talking to you, well, hey, do your job and just walk away. <laughs> you feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's simple. There's no cookie cutter type thing behind it. That's how I view things, right? But now nah, you got some people that come from, if they in that survival mode, like, nah, this is a fight, so now nah, I'm gonna fight back with you. And at that point, um, you might win, but at what cost, you know? Sometimes at what cost, and that's what you gotta look at in this game of chess, like, at what cost did you win? Because now, you know, somebody may have disrespected me and I went and beat their ass and now I got a, a assault charge, right? And so now, with that assault charge, which might, might become a felony, now I can't go out and get certain, you know, opportunities that present themselves because of my past. You know, and now we looking at hindsight saying, well damn man, you know, I was a hothead back then, and, but man, like I said, it's not worth it. Just walk away. Especially if, you know, you were a millennial like me, 30 years old. Like, we at the point where we cannot, you know, make mistakes like that. We can't be making big mistakes. We can't be out here crashing out or, or having somebody take us off our, you know, they're trying to kick us off our throne. We can't let that shit happen. So that's, that's how I look at uh, how you handle uh, respect. Um, yeah, just listen, man. Look at your life and, and look at certain situations where you see disrespect happening, man, at the at the core of it. Just walk away and don't stick around. You don't have to. You know, you don't have to put up with bullshit. You don't have to deal with it. We all got a choice. Life is all about choices. So, you know, for for the young young people out there, for people in the black community that, you know, we we deal with a lot of struggles and a lot of trauma, man. Y'all just walk away from certain situations, man. It ain't, it ain't worth it, man. And like always, let's get this work.